What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to remap the side button on the Samsung S22 Ultra. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the S22 Ultra is of course, aside from folding phones, one of the largest phones you can get available to you from Samsung's S22 series. And this makes it great for viewing as it has one of the nicer displays on flagship smartphones. But what makes it kind of challenging and unwieldy is the fact that it's really difficult sometimes to access some features with the power button or the side button using one hand with the size of a phone. So by default, the, the side button, if you hold it down, it will activate Bixby, which is Samsung's voice assistant. And this can be handy. However, some people might prefer to have the side button for different features as Bixby can be activated by your voice. So you can actually change without downloading any apps what the side button does on your S22 Ultra. And the way to do so is you wanna scroll down on your notifications and quick quick options and then you want to scroll down further and s select more options from there you want to hit this power button here and then from there you'll have the option to power off your phone restart turn on emergency mode and then from there you have side key settings what you want to do is hit side key settings and then from there you can change the behavior of the side key as you can see, there's two options here, one for double press and press and hold. Double press will quick launch the camera by default, but you can also change it to pay with Samsung Pay or open up an app. And then when you hit open up an app, you have an option of selecting any of the apps that you have downloaded available to you on the S22 Ultra. You can also change the press and hold, and by default, as mentioned, it, it wakes Bixby, but you can actually select it to enable the power off menu. So I'll select it here and then I'll go back to my home screen. And as you can see, if I hold down the side button, I get to access the power off menu as well. So there you have it everyone, just a quick tip on how to remap the side button on the Samsung S22 Ultra. If you found this video helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks